Warzone Season 3 is releasing on the 3rd of April, and in this video, I really want to talk about it. So, I feel like the Season 3 update's going to be very important for Warzone, as if it's not good, then the game just won't have the player base it actually needs. I found that recently Warzone has been incredibly sweaty with a lot of casual players not really playing the game at the moment. And I think that's just because the game has literally like no updates at the moment. There's no point playing Warzone while it is not in the greatest state. But yeah, so I really just wanted to talk about that today and uh, also show you guys a really nice solo win which I got using I believe it's the HRM9 and the Cat MR sniper rifle. These apartment buildings are usually not the safest spot to go to. There's a lot of people everywhere. Heard someone down there in the burger restaurant, so tried sniping at him, but didn't really do much. And there's a guy inside the gas station there as well, who I don't see. But yeah, so with the season three update, that's when Rebirth Island is coming out. So the 3rd of April, got myself a uh, Intel contract done. Portable radar as well. You can see there's uh, two people down inside the burger restaurant and then also a few more further back. I get that guy there. Some more to strike coming as, as well, so this is going to be very chaotic, I think. This guy above here as well who tries landing on me. And uh, while trying to fight him, I like mantle up onto that uh, tank looking thing. And uh, yeah, I died. So in the gulag now with the Ram 7. I'm very interested to see what the Season 3 update brings in terms of content. So there's, of course, a couple new weapons, which that's always quite handy. This guy right here gets utterly smoked. Of course, you've got the FJX Horus. It's either like an MP7 or like an MP9. I believe it's actually the MP9. It's like a submachine gun. And you've got the Moors, which I believe is from Advanced Warfare. Some sort of melee weapon and the BAL-27, I, th I think it's an assault rifle, looks like it, but some new weapons that we're going to be using in Season 3. I think the most important thing is Rebirth Island coming back. That map's going to be really interesting to play on, especially with the Warzone 3 kind of movement and mechanics, because of course we have not played on that for quite a while now. Loadout drop here came in, so I end up going after it. Find myself a, a gold ram 7 now. Very good find, but of course, since we're going for the loadout drop, then I'm going to be switching off it very shortly. Find myself a striker as well. I really do want a bit of a striker meta in Warzone once Season 3 comes out. The striker is kind of underrated. It, it's never been at the very top, I don't think. But yeah, as I said earlier, we're using the HRM9 and the Cat Ammo there. Mounting it, irradiated, quick fix and flex. This guy came out of nowhere and I uh, destroyed him with the HRM. This is the completely updated build with the Princeps Long Barrel as well. I must admit though, Solos is um, filled with rats. Like that rat on the top of that building there that got utterly destroyed there. <laughs> so a few more things that are coming with the Season 3 update is ranked play on Rebirth Island. I, I don't really like Resurgence ranked play. I feel like ranked play on the big map would be a lot better. There was actually a person on the hill on the left hand side that I did not see him. Yeah, I'm just looking back at this now. I uh, recorded this game a few days ago. It's a mosquito drone and a few people on that hill there. So... I believe I actually try snap at the person up there, but very quiet. Another thing that's coming with the Season 3 update is the Champion's Quest for Rebirth, which I think that's going to be quite interesting. I've only done the Champion's Quest on Urzikstan, and I have not tried it on any other map. I believe you can do it on Vondel. Guy here who uh, jumped out of the vehicle, and I believe he pushes me. Yes, he does. I believe this person was rather sweaty, so I ended up backing off afterwards. More with that champion's quest. The uh, 
The Champions Quest on Ozakstan is really fun. I have not tried it on Vondel, but I think if the map's smaller, it's going to be a lot harder to get done. I throw a smoke near here, and I uh, kind of outplay this guy. Gets on top of the vehicle. I jump out, and it actually runs him over. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> this person tried to be a bit of a sweaty demon, and I uh, took him out. That's pretty much what the lobbies look like at the moment, though. They're filled with absolute sweats. I must be I am a bit of a sweat myself, but it's becoming pretty unplayable if you have to fight like three KD players in every single game. It's not fun. Guy there, and I uh, try taking him out, but I don't think I land any shots, no. Guy's there, but he keeps on running, I believe. Yes. Yeah, so... Do a bit of a teabag there. <laughs> I probably didn't have to do that. Third circle. I believe, yeah, I go grab that building there, and then I believe I do some sniping. This circle in downtown is going to be very interesting, especially because downtown end zones, if they're near any of those really tall skyscraper buildings, they're not great. You always just have someone camping up top. See, there's a guy there. Thought I was going to be able to hit that shot there, but nope. So one guy here below us as well. Climbs the ladder there, and I do end up taking him out. I believe he uh, slightly panicked and couldn't get into that building. There was the flare that went up afterwards, which means uh, he has a redeploy pack. I believe that's him there in the air. It's the same operator skin, so it probably is. This is where using the uh, XOK Stalker might be useful, but the Cat AMI, if you're trying to hit someone like that, you have to basically lead it perfectly or else you're just not going to connect, basically. But yeah, instead of making like a dedicated video on breaking down the blog, we're just going to talk about that through this video here. I'm definitely excited for Season 3, but... Wow, that's a beautiful snipe right there. <laughs> I have no idea what that guy's doing, but... I really hope that it brings the players back. Personally, I've, I've been sick over the past few days, so I haven't really played Warzone, but... There's, there's no point of me really playing Warzone at the moment, because it, it's just not fun. This game here that I'm showing you, I performed pretty well, but... Most of the time, solos, you kind of... Maybe get a few kills, you get to end zone, and then you just die to something stupid. Or you don't even make it there, so... In terms of multiplayer, there's quite a few maps coming, but we don't really play multiplayer on this channel. I could check it out, though, if you guys want me to. Write a comment down below if you do. Even with, like, zombies, there's... I believe a new... Warlord coming. There's some new story missions. I, I don't really play zombies though. We're mainly focused on Warzone on this YouTube channel. Playing this rooftop here and I see someone dropping off. Nice snipe right there and a beautiful finish. Yeah, I believe that guy was getting shot at from one of those apartment buildings then. He jumped off. That there's probably the person who was on the apartment but they get away from me here. I tried doing a bit of a warbang but does not work out. You can see fourth circles in now as well, and uh, there's going to be a spicy kind of downtown zone. I believe I go to one of those apartment buildings. I'm not too sure where I actually go here, though. I've recorded this game probably over a week ago now, so I, I don't really know uh, what I end up doing here. Land here, but there's actually a guy already here, and um, yep, yeah, that did not work out. That was a really dumb push by me there. Do we have a, a redeploy pack though? So, way back in, go land somewhere. I mean, of course, we did kill this person down here, so I could maybe go loot him and then uh, head back to center zone and try to get some more stuff. Attack Evolver and the Striker 9. I believe I uh, missed SMG there. Yep, yes, I did. <laughs> Here the UAV as well. And you can see there's a lot of people nearby. So, rotating out of here is going to be a fun one. 
This guy there as well on the wall. I tried lasering him, but this light machine gun is very slow. I don't think I even leveled it up. Like, with the tech of all there, I, it was meta for maybe like two days or something, and then it got nerfed. And I didn't bother leveling it whatsoever. I believe I get myself a... Uh, yeah, I get my loadout guns there. I thought I was going to buy like a self-res or something, but... Loaded guns it is. That would have been really nice. What I'm going to cover on the YouTube channel over the next uh, few weeks is going to be all the aftermarket parts. Because I believe with Season 3, there's going to be like 8 new aftermarket parts on all the guns. So, I believe you do weekly challenges to uh, unlock them. Okay, they got smoked. The Cat MR is still easily the best sniper rifle. I hope that we get some more uh, options once Season 3 comes. But of course, there's the... The, the Moors one from, I believe it's Advanced Warfare, but we'll have to see if that's any good. But if there are some more options, that would be super nice. I believe I thought there was a person down there. Yep, yes, there was. Get sniped at, though, so I have uh, no self res. So picking that would probably be death. I believe I go to that green ping there, and I kind of want to figure out exactly where to go in zone. Like, I, I, could, I could just go there on foot, but I believe I go for the uh, redeploy balloon here. There's a few people there. I almost died doing that. So, loadout drop as well. But I believe I don't even pick that up, no. If you guys want the blog, I will leave a, a link to it in the description down below. Because there's a lot of stuff that is coming with the Season 3 update. I think we're going to cover the patch notes on stream. And then uh, we'll have to see what happens with that. For me, it comes out at like 4 in the morning because I'm from Australia. So that's fun. But I believe there's a person in this uh, kind of buy station building. We, I, 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 I know I talk with the guy in the proxy chat, but I think I end up just leaving him alone. Yeah, the season three update comes out on the 3rd of April. I believe that's 9 a.m. Pacific, but for Australians, it's kind of the day after because that, that's at like 4 in the morning. So, see, the zone is beginning to close now as well. It's about three seconds until the sixth zone comes up. Guys, I believe in that like grandstand bit there. I, I'm not too sure if I try to shoot him or not, but going a bit more in zone here. There is an oc Occupation scan. I, I don't like these. I kind of wish it was the other way around, where if you were standing still, you'd get marked. This just makes more people camp. It, it should really be the other way around. That if you're standing still, then you get marked. And if you're moving, you're fine. It's the guy right there, and I beamed him a bit. I believe this guy in comms actually gets kind of angry at me, but I'm trying to win this. I've gotten backstabbed so many times, I, I don't really let people live like that. You can see there's one guy kind of close there. Miss one snipe. I missed the second snipe. And then the dude gets away. I really do hope that some of the other snipers get buffed because more one-shot snipers would be so satisfying. It's like the only way that mouse and keyboard players can actually compete in this game at the moment. I would play on controller, but 150 ping plus a noob on controller would not be a fun thing to watch, I don't think. <laughs> See, the zone is pulling south here. And I'm at the very edge, so that's not going to be great. I gotta be very careful of this guy here. I do end up spotting him and I do down him. Me challenging this was probably not the smartest idea because of course he did have a sniper so I could have got taken out super easily. Good heartbeat sensor though and there's one guy to our left. Oh, yep, I can hear the footsteps. It right here. 
down them. There's only three people left, and I believe they're all further up the hill here. Got that heartbeat sensor. Yeah, you can see there's one guy there. And the other two are probably on that side as well. 1v1v1 at the moment, and you can see they're all on the heartbeat sensor now. 1v1 situation because they did end up fighting and I believe this guy is just on the head drop here Yes, I wait a tiny bit cuz I Want to be sure that he's in the exact spot End up spotting him there and beautiful snipe Yeah, bit of a uh, I believe that was like what 12 or 13 kill solo win so honestly not bad I'm really excited to see what the season 3 update brings and We'll be covering that on stream with a bunch more videos to come. Bit different today, but uh, I hope you guys liked it. If you did, drop a like, and I will see you next time.